Today I'd like to talk about what we lovingly call in America Buddhism 101. That is the basics of Buddhism. What is Buddhism? The skeleton of Buddhism. The Cliff Notes version. Mainly the Four Noble Truths or original teachings of Buddha. The Four Noble Truths, the Four Facts of Life from Enlightened Perspective. The Four Noble Truths. The fourth of which is the Eightfold Path, the Eight Steps to Enlightenment, explained step by step in my book, Awakening the Buddha Within, Tibetan Wisdom for the Western World, the Eight Steps to Enlightenment, with a chapter on each of these steps or folds of the traditional Eightfold Path, the actual path Buddha taught to become enlightened, through which anybody can become as enlightened as he did, saying that we're all Buddhas, not Buddhists. Buddhas by nature, we only have to awaken to whom what we truly are. Because most of us are too much of the time sleeping Buddhas, not awakened Buddhas. If you feel like a sleeping Buddha, if you're asleep at the wheel of your life, if you're having all kinds of unwanted accidents, try to wake up. Cultivate awareness. Bring the enlightened life into being. This is the Eightfold Path. The Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path, and the Six or the Ten Transcendental Virtues, Transformative Practices, the Paramitas, the Ten Perfections taught by Buddha. The Six or Ten Paramitas, the Panacean practices or original practices taught by the Buddha himself when he was a bodhisattva, a Buddha to be, a seeker like us on the path of enlightenment over many lifetimes. So all of the schools of Buddhism, regardless of the country it comes from, the color of the robes, the language, the, the amount of chanting or the rich detailed iconography or temple architecture or the simple style, regardless, whatever the emphasis is, all of these schools of Buddhism hail from the original teachings of Buddha that we too can become enlightened as he did and millions have over the years and even now in the world there's half a billion Buddhists and millions have become enlightened by this path anybody can, young or old, male or female, literate or illiterate and let me go further even, Buddhist or otherwise these practices can make us a better whatever we are the three enlightenment trainings, liberating trainings of ethical self-discipline training, shila, meditation and mindfulness training, samadhi, and third, wisdom and love training, prajna. These three trainings, ethics, meditation, and wisdom, which comprise the Eightfold Path, which is the fourth noble truth taught by Buddha, the way to nirvana. It's kind of scientific in a funny way. Buddha taught that if you reproduce the experiment, you can replicate the results. And millions have. Buddhism is about discovery, awakening, enlightenment, awakening to whom what we truly are, not beliefs. It's less of a religion than an ethical, psychological philosophy of awakening, a way of life. We don't need to subscribe to any particular beliefs to be a Buddhist, to be a bodhisattva, a Buddha to be, a wisdom warrior, an enlightened leader, a selfless seeker, a bodhisattva, a wish-fulfilling jewel, benefiting the whole world, awakening ourselves, awakening all. Because when I become clearer, everything becomes clearer. We don't need to believe necessarily in any dogma or creed, not rebirth, not vegetarianism, not even Buddha. But we need to see things as they are. That's wisdom, according to Buddhism, the first step on the Eightfold Path. Eightfold Path, seeing things as they are, clear vision, first. Second, wise understanding, recognizing inseparability and connectedness with others, interconnectedness, wise intention. So first, wise vision, clear vision, seeing things as they are, not as they ain't, seeing it as it is, not as we would like it to be, or think it should be, seeing it as it is, not as we are, through our projections and interpretations, so subjective, seeing it as it is. And second, seeing how things work and fit together. And third, wise speech, fourth, wise actions, and fifth, wise livelihood. Isn't it interesting that Buddha himself taught that wise livelihood was part of the spiritual life. A Buddha, a monk, long ago, taught that wise livelihood, true vocation, finding our true work in this world, developing and sharing our gift, wise vocation, making a life, not just a living. The Buddhist buzzword, right, livelihood, is an important part of the path. Not just meditation and mindfulness, but also at work, at home, at the office, in the community, and with our loved ones. And sixth is wise effort, balanced effort, the middle way, Buddha always taught the middle way, not Buddhism, but the middle way beyond extremes, such as nihilism, nothingness, and materialism, believing too much in material solidity. The middle way, right effort, wise effort, balanced effort. Sixth, 
Seventh is wise mindfulness, present awareness, alert presence of mind, which prevents all kinds of accidents. There are really no accidents. Everything has a cause. That's the law of karma. What goes around comes around causation, and we can need to check and observe this to see if it's not true in our own field of experience, our own life. And eighth, wise concentration, keeping our eye on the ball, being focused, being coherent, recollectedness, concentration, awareness. So these eight steps to enlightenment are the basic path taught by Buddha. Buddha taught the first noble truth that an unenlightened life is difficult, is suffering, is fraught. The unenlightened life, this is his diagnosis, the first two truths. The unenlightened life is full of suffering, dukkha, is dissatisfactory by nature. And second, the cause of that dukkha, that suffering, that dissatisfactoriness, is fervid clinging, ignorant attachment, being attached to that which can't satisfy and fulfill us in the long run. These first two truths are Buddha's prescription or diagnosis, and the second two are the therapy or the, the cure. The third truth is nirvana, or the end, the letting go, the release of fervid clinging, of ignorant grasping and attachment to things that can't help us in the long run. The third noble truth. The, court, the, the cure, the nirvana, the great peace, the deathless ease of nirvana, the goal. And fourth is the path to that nirvanic goal, the Eightfold Path that we've just described. So this is Buddhism 101 in a nutshell. The Four Noble Truths, the Eightfold Path, and the Six or Ten Paramitas, generosity, ethical self-discipline, patient forbearance, enthusiastic effort, concentration and meditation, mindfulness, and sixth, discerning wisdom. In short, this is the building blocks of an enlightened life, how any of us can become a better person and contribute to a better world today. This is the purpose of Buddhism, altruism, contributing, being part of the solution rather than part of the problem, recognizing that we're all in the same boat and we rise or fall, sink or swim together. So I wish you a beautiful day. Blessings to one and all. Thank you.